Hmm. How'd you get up there? I bet they can't get down, but found the fifth frog. Hello, current friends and future friends alike. My name is Marchlin. You can call me March. And welcome back to my survival world of Minecraft, where I'm trying to get every advancement that the game has to offer, but also just sort of like have fun and experience everything that Minecraft has along the way. Something like that. <laughs> Last time we found our first end portal. Um, as you can see, not very lucky on the, uh, the the eyes of Ender already in the portal, but we're not going through that today. No, I've got other plans. Also, as last episode's version of Future March, I should get this beacon. You're welcome, Past March. Yeah, I feel like I've been working pretty hard in this village lately, which is why Dune. Huh. Pack your things. We're going on vacation. Oh, she listened to me. May? You're coming too. Bring sunscreen. Welcome to the beach, everyone! I thought it was time for us to get out and enjoy the sun a little bit. Right, June? Happy to be here? I could not get her to wear a hat for the life of me, but it did put a lot of sunscreen on her. So, hopefully that, that helps. Um, <laughs> this is our little beach, uh, little beach resort thing that I built. Uh, mainly just to sort of have some fun and do some water-based things here today. This is the same area where uh, we were in our desert not too long ago and found our lovely coral biomes. So we're gonna get into that today. We're gonna maybe do something with Sylveon, who I brought along as well. Um, just all kinds of beach activities today, even to the point of getting myself like a whole outfit here. I've got a hat, I've got a swimsuit, I'm ready to go. Uh, these two apparently like the shade a little bit more, but at least they came along. I appreciate that. I've got some nice ice in here for them to keep everything nice and cool. I've got some golems to help protect the perimeter. Also, they shouldn't be able to cross this carpet line, so there's that. And it's mostly fenced in, so I'm hoping this is going to be pretty safe. I've even lit up the hill around the entire area, and we have more patrol golems. So. I'm feeling pretty confident that, like, everybody's gonna be safe and we're gonna have a great time on this holiday. Now the big question is, how do we enjoy our beach holiday first? I would be lying if I said I didn't have some objectives here today that I'm hoping to get accomplished while we're having our beach holiday. And probably the most important of them are these turtle eggs. I really want to get some scoots, which means turtles, which means dangers. Hopefully, by um, placing these down, uh, we can kind of keep them safe as we're like doing other things today. And we'll also just make this the new turtle home. At least I think that's what all those green sparkles were for. So we've got a lot of days and nights ahead of us here on our beach holiday, which is perfect because, well, I mean, I have lots of things planned. <laughs> what is that bunny doing? What am I doing? Hmm, good question. Good morning, sleepyheads. I'm gonna go snorkeling. Does anyone wanna join? No? Well, have fun, you two. So one of the things I'm kind of interested in is these fish right here. Got one. <laughs> so these fish, there are a ton of different varieties of these. Ooh, cool, it actually tells me which one it is. 
Um, but there's over 20 different types of tropical fish, which is probably why there isn't like a... Actually, I don't know why there wouldn't be a cooked variety of tropical fish. It's not one of the foods, though. Either way, I would love to get as many different types as we can. That way we can stock our lake with them. I found out that fish that you catch in buckets don't despawn. So let's fill our lake with really cool and interesting fish. Which means I'm on the hunt. But also I have to watch these turtle eggs. I'm not sure they've got this. <laughs> but these other ones look like, um, I don't know, gray? <gasps> a black tang. That's a big school of them. A Moorish idol. All right. Ooh, that's like a clownfish. A dotty back, and yes, a clownfish. Ooh, you look new. New? New? Or no, you're just a pufferfish. Um, you look like the Moorish. Ow. Ow. I did not respect their personal space. Oh no, it's a butterfly fish. Huh, it's not one I have either. Gotcha. And I don't think I have you either. Alright, what do we got? The goat fish. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, red snapper. That's a new one. I will admit, I can't tell them all apart underwater. Uh, lots of the shapes are very similar, it's just the colors are a little different, and everything looks remarkably the same underwater. Well, it's nighttime, which means this might be a good opportunity to get at least one advancement today. I am looking for the advancement. I think it's in the adventure tab. I think it's in the husbandry tab. Uh, the healing power of friendship. Team up with an axolotl and win a fight. So that's why I brought Sylveon along. We just need to find something to fight. And I'm thinking maybe a drowned? Uh, they certainly seem to spawn. Uh, that one sounds real close. Oh dear. Okay, I hit it once. This might actually work out pretty well in our favor. I'm gonna see if Sylveon will get in on this action. I have no idea if Sylveon will actually attack Drowned. Um, but you are like a Pokemon, so I have I have faith in you. If I, if I get hit, will you? No? Sylveon! Okay, I don't know what Axolotl's attack! Apparently that Sylveon didn't have to do anything! Just be there. Just be present. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> sure, whatever. I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks, Sylveon. Just gonna have to use our imaginations here that I'm actually in this chair. Yep. Sure, I'm in this chair. The sky is really pretty. You don't really get a chance to really... Just sort of chill and just watch the things go by in Minecraft. There's always some objective. There's always something to do. It's nice to just sort of take a moment and just sort of let it all pass by. What are those other golems are doing? Oh, well, pretty well, it seems. Um... Also, it occurs to me, golems can't just walk on the turtle eggs and crush them, right? Right? Do I have that one? I'll be back, turtle eggs. I don't think I have you. A brinely orange, white, and a thread fin. That is a long name for that first one. You are... I don't know. A blue tang. Oh, cool. I don't have you either. This one's getting further along too. Oh, cool. Also, Sylveon got a hold of something. <gasps> oh, these are so close. And these went off too. Oh, so cool. Okay. 
I'm going to be extra diligent. No going off on fish adventures. Ornate butterfly fly, <laughs> ornate butterfly fish, and an emperor at snapper. Us, oh, there's two more of our types. So while I was watching the turtle eggs, I was looking a little bit more about tropical fish. So yes, there are 22 different varieties of tropical fish, just like that are named specifically. However, 10% of the time, instead of one of the named like 22 variants, you get something like this the brinely orange white, which it's named after the type of like shape it is, and then like a series of colors. And if you were gonna try and collect all of these types of fish, rather than just the 22, like specially modeled fish, um, well, I guess you'd be at it a while because I think there's over 2,700 types or something like that, according to the wiki, um, of many different like colors and varieties, which that's really cool. You could spend a really long time if you wanted to just in tropical fish alone. Like if you wanted that to be your objective is to get every tropical fish variety. That would be amazing. But also, uh, that's pretty daunting. Ooh, a red, how, how do you say that? Ch 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 <laughs> help me, someone help me. Okay, we were able to add the um, yellow tang to our collection, as well as a red-lipped blenny and the red desilid. <laughs> Is that how you say that? Uh oh, uh oh! Don't like that noise. Don't like that noise. I drowned with a trident here. That was not, that's not expected and it's unhelpful. All right, I have a shield here and I have my own trident. So, uh, no. Are they throwing tridents at my golems and turtle eggs? This will not do. I know I probably could have gotten my looting sword and gotten a shot at another trident, but honestly, I'm not taking chances. Those guys hurt, and they were hurting my friends. How are you two enjoying your vacation? May, it must be nice to get away from the shop for a little bit, not having to always, you know, nose to the grindstone, as it were. Bad, bad joke? Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> um... I'm suddenly made very uncomfortable. What's happening? <laughs> For the basis of judgment. So much judgment. All right, night's rising. So we're on turtle duty again. Been a pretty uneventful turtle watch so far tonight. Haven't really gotten any egg cracks. I mean, these guys over here haven't gotten me in any progress. But it's okay. Everybody gets to go at their own speed. It's not a race not a competition. Just life. <gasps> they did it! They ha- get off, get off. They hatched! Um, how do scoots- do you do, do- no? No scoots? Ah, okay. Um, well, I've got, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Uh, they will drop scoots. However, they don't do it until they're grown up. And, um, well, I don't know where those other three went. And that one's just going away right now. Well, there's one. Let's see if we can't get the other three back. And maybe get a new fish along the way. You look different. Ooh, 
a dash or blue orange. Not one of the fish like types that we're looking for, but one of those 10 percenters. Baby turtles are so small. How am I going to find them? Tomato clown fish. There's a new fish. All right. Well, two out of four isn't bad. If I find the other two, great. But if not, oh well. I don't have that fish. Sorry, turtles. I'll be right back. You. What are you? A yellow tail parrot fish. Ooh, I don't have the you though. Cotton candy beta. Oh. Oh. Okay. That well, I haven't slept in a while. That's that's fair. That's more than fair. Um Tonight is the night. Ooh, the turtles grew up. And they laid scooch. And some more hatched. <laughs> well, we have just a very exciting time around here tonight. Scooch, please. Arrows? Arrows. Oh, the golems one in. Okay, got two. This that's good. Oh, they're a little desync. Oh, come on, guys! Well, good job. You did a good job. So we have four more babies in there now that hatched during the kerfuffle with the phantoms. Which means by the time it is... Well, I have no idea what time it is, but by the time it's night, that should mean that we get four more scoots. I see May is enjoying the chairs. That's great. You know you can lay in them, right? Uninteresting. Did not ask for my opinion. There you go. Finally figured it out. Ooh, hyperdig. Hyperdig mode. I believe in you. You've got it. You can do it. Wow. They are still going. They'll figure it out. They have not figured it out yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you were both fighting over the same spot. That's what happens. All right, well, the phantoms are probably gonna come again tonight. So I better be prepared for that. All right, well, four more scoots and our friend the phantom is back. Uh, how many phantoms are here? Um, oh, just one? Oh, that's not gonna do me any good. Alright, well... Maybe tomorrow night. Well, it's day again. Some more turtles grew up. We still are waiting on these two. Um, I bet in the next night these go, and maybe even these... Like, even though they haven't started cracking yet. <laughs> I've been at this a while, but now that it's daytime, I think we can start hunting down the fish that I'm missing, and actually, that looks exactly like one of them. I think that is one of them. Yes, a parrotfish. I have not gotten this one yet. Great, so we're just missing one more fish type. Well, it occurs to me that I can get pufferfish here and have been. And I brought a brew stand along, so, and some nether wart. Not a lot, but enough to make a couple of water breathing potions. Uh oh. Well, mistakes were made on my part. Sorry, Golem. <gasps> there it is. 
That's the last fish. That one right there. Got it. <laughs> the anemone. An an it looks like an enemy, but like, that's not what that is. Like, it's not a sea anemone. <laughs> Am I just like reading it wrong? <laughs> anemone. Anemone. An enemy. It just looks like sea anemone, although it's not one of those sea anemones that's like all, I don't know, flowery and pretty and stuff. Stings a bunch. Oh well. <laughs> and we got every fish. There's no advancement for it, but I sure feel accomplished. I take it your vacation is going well so far? I've got all the fish. We've got a lot of scoots in the hopper with a couple more turtles along the way. And maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to get the advancement for shooting the phantoms. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give it one more night. All right, little eggs. It's your time tonight. This is your moment. I believe in you. You've gone many nights without hatching, but I believe that you can do it. Oh, there they are. Oh, there's two this time. Okay, cool. Hit them both. Oh, really? Oh, that's sad. It is unfortunate, but I am getting more membrane. So we ended with eight scoots and seven phantom membrane and ten more turtle eggs. Those four didn't hatch. I mean, what are you gonna do? We'll just have to give it an like another shot another time. So I think for today's episode, since I've been at this many hours watching turtle eggs and catching fish, we'll end with just one more thing. And I'm not about to end today's episode without a March's Kitchen Corner. This is the segment where we eat more foods in Minecraft in order to make our way to the advancement of a balanced diet. Eat every food in Minecraft, even if it's not good for you. We've been making great progress with it, and today I've sort of forgotten a bit of randomization for things that are very, like, beach-centric. Let's go see what our first food of the day is. We have cooked cod. Um, I don't have any fish with me or fishing rods, so let me go make one. For some reason, I made a bow instead of a fishing rod. That's vacation brain. And this is relaxing and perfect for what we've been doing today. That took no time at all. Uh, nothing like a freshly caught raw cod over some birch fence posts. All right, second food. Dried kelp. Wow, I ate it and it didn't fill me up at all. <laughs> That's kelp for ya. Well, let's see what the last food of the day is. Hopefully it'll fill me up a little bit more than that kelp did. A tropical fish. Very fitting. I believe that Sylpion caught us a tropical fish earlier. Thanks, buddy. Not super filling, but tasted great. Well, that's gonna do it today on March's Kitchen Corner. Thank you all for joining us, and join us next time when we eat even more of the foods that Minecraft has to offer. Ooh, the phantoms are here. Oh, there's two of them. Perfect. I had an idea. A stroke of genius, if you will. <laughs> Let's see if this works. One phantom. Oh, no, no. Well, two different boats might work. I don't know if this is going to work. Uh-oh. 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 What? It's always something. It's always something with you guys. Hey, I got another tried it. Well, that's really cool. Those turtle eggs still haven't hatched. <laughs> and I have two phantoms trapped in a boat. Can we make this happen? Can we do it? I guess it's going to depend on whether or not this works. Oh, that only hurt one of them. Oh, there's more phantoms now. Oh, come on. Well, it was a good idea.
but it got very chaotic. I've definitely given it my best shot when it comes to not cheesing it and trying to do it legit. So next time I go for this, I think I, I think I look up some cheese straps. <laughs> It may not have been everything I wanted on this adventure, but it sure was a good vacation. So I think in celebration of the turtle eggs, the scoots, all the phantom membranes we have, which we're going to need soon, probably. Um, the new trident. Yeah, another trident. Like in celebration of all of that, we do one last thing. And we break the watermelon. Everybody, melon slices for all. Golems, melon slices. Everybody gets one. No, oh, it's yours. <laughs> They'll figure it out eventually. Well, everyone, I had a great vacation. <laughs> this is a really fun episode. Very silly, but that was what made it perfect. So, thank you all for watching. I'm glad you were here, just as I'm glad that May and June were here with me as well. And, well, until next time, <laughs> I'll see you then. <gasps> Bye!